Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisors channel. Today we will talk about Marathon Digital Holdings traded at Nasdaq, ticker name Mara. Well, what is important to understand about Mara is that it was already long term uh, steady growing and the accelerated growth we can see for the last several months from December on. You see all three moving averages are uh, in the boost mode, meaning that it's so-called 20, 50, 200 stock. What does it mean? It means that once you have a, a big company with the with the stocks and SMAs allocation like 20, 50 and 200, and then the price is on top of those and using actually moving average 20 as a support, sometimes rebouncing from it. This means that for mid and long term, you are safe with this company. So you can just keep buying in and until this pattern is there, you are safe, you are growing. And that's indeed what was happening. You can see the price was bouncing from moving average 20, sometimes piercing uh, towards moving average 50. And this is very important. Once you shift from this pattern, uh, actually, to another one, which is, again, SMA, but then price goes between moving average 20 and 50. So we have this pierce taking place then it means that maybe not immediately you can still can make a couple of waves, but you are very, very close actually to the major uh, correction to take place and you should be just ready for it. It's not that it will immediately take place, but this is a correction indication that is nearby in the vicinity. And that's exactly what we can observe. You can see by uh, March we pierced through with this um, small channel here and then we rebounced, but then this rebounce was not that significant. It was lower than the previous height. So it's the first indication already of possible uh, deceleration taking place. And indeed also moving averages 20 and 50 are decelerating. You can see they're slowly bending. And you also see that uh, again, we had this peer towards moving average 50. Again, the price rebounds. And then what is important, we have here double wave break. break. Um, you can see this take, took place by April and it took place last three trading sessions. So it seems like we are now forming a decline and we still don't know the angle here, how low it will go, but looks like the correction is about to start. So this transition is confirmed and uh, we are about to start correction. You can still argue saying, well, it's after hours with the plus. Yes, it's true, but it could be just an after hours action um, because we can, we just sit at moving average 20. There could be still some volatility happening and only then the correction will take place. But the major call here is correction is nearby. So if you want to play here as carefully, you need to be preparing for yourself for this. Also, you can see that MACD histogram is starting a negative wave, so this might pull a little bit price down further. And once this is taking place, you really need to be prepared for principal levels to buy. And usually correction takes place with several, several rebounds. So the first rebounds where we can wait for the price and then make our profit will be, of course, at this first uh, principal level, which is about 20, uh, let's say 20, 579 and just a little bit higher here uh, 2970 uh, so let's write it down this will be 2970 again repeat and 2579 so we can use this price wait for this price as a first entry uh, and then it will be really really safe entry and quite nice trade here so 25.79 and 29.70. So with this being actually our target, let's write it here as a call out. We can uh, wait and then at the rebounds, which will be the first rebounds and then moving average 200, uh, sorry, moving average 20 will be then as a resist line, most probably if it goes a classical uh, decline, classical correction after this long row. You can make your profit and speaking of profit, we always, especially on this descending or near correct, corrective uh, patterns, we advise to take it from 10 to 20% and really take it. Once taken, enjoy, re-enter if you can or check other opportunities because 
when you play on the growing stock, so once it's, as I said, SMA and price 20, 50, 200 pattern, it's simple play. Once it starts transitioning to this one, when the price starts to stick between moving average 20 and 50, you are near the correction. And once the correction starts, you really need to know how you trade. You really need to control how you buy and how you average down. Otherwise, you can allocate all your funds in the position and then you will just decline with it. So be careful and uh, just do it knowing what you do. So with this being said, this is the first level to enter. Let's pull it a little bit lower here. And then there will be most probably first rebounds, but there are also other levels where we could go and we need just to keep our funds to play there and to enter there again if needed. And of course, the next volatility point here just sitting between a 15, uh, 28 at the lowest one and uh, the higher part of it will be just here. You can see it, it will be uh, 1936. So let's write it here again. So we still might go even there. We'll be still within expected and accepted, let's say volatility ranges that can be understood from a major decline strategy and major decline philosophy, major correction philosophy here. In which form the correction will take place on the midterm would it be a channel decline or will it be a triangle formation? We will know it later. We still need to wait. This will be clear in a couple of months. But for now, we just need to catch the rebounds on the correction and make our profit. So with this being said, these are the levels to buy. And of course, the third one, which we need to take into account, and this sometimes happens, especially when the price after very nice growth starts to decelerate and at this moment a negative catalyst kicks in it could really shoot the price down to very principal low levels and here it might even pierce further the moving average 200 here which you can see by the way it will also support the second channel and make it a double support so the second channel is really strong but if negative catalyst kicks in we could go lower and we could decline all the way to the principal level uh, that was happening and taking place at 686, uh, uh, the lower part and the higher one of it will be uh, somewhere here, a little bit higher maybe, so it will be uh, 947. So this level will be really, uh, let's say, the most principal support. It's not that we say the price goes there, it's just we want to keep some funds to mitigate risks if during this major correction negative catalyst kicks in because the worst thing that can happen is when you have a major correction and negative catalyst kicks in because that price could just go really, really low. But with this approach, you will be quite safe. Of course, still targeting in the first channel to rebounce and take the profit 10 to 15%, but having extra funds to buy in if the price declines. And if you ask yourself how to buy in here, how to enter through those channels, it's still very classical play. It's a five portion play for those who are not first at our channel. They know um, who was not first time. I mean, uh, they know what it means. It means that the funds you would like to play here, you can split in five portions for the most safe play and the best optimization for risk mitigation. And then you buy with one portion of those files through the first channel, meaning that you don't buy immediately the opening and you don't wait till the end of the channel. You just buy through slowly. Uh, then you can uh, buy with remaining another two portions actually in the second channel and with remaining two portions you can buy if negative catalyst kicks in and while others will be taking losses you just buy in and wait for rebounds and making profit. So with this strategy we don't talk about stop loss but we talk about waiting a little bit longer but still buying through and exiting with the profit. So this is kind of a daily through midterm trade strategy. And that's why we use uh, daily uh, candles here, not 15 minute candles, because this is a more relaxed play, let's say, knowing what's happening and just waiting for major rebounds. That's why I always like channel uh, positions, uh, tickers that are about to go to major correction, because then you, if you know the, the dynamics of it, you can buy in and usually people panic because they think, oh, it's declining, what shall I do? But if you know the dynamics of it, you know how to play, how to buy through your control your emotions you can make a really nice profit there and that's actually we all often use these kind of uh, patterns uh, to trade and also to advise to you in our opinion videos at our channel so with this being said that's all for mara good luck with mara from digital holdings do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like that press the bell button this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for us based stocks